Hello and welcome to Unreal Filmmakers Session 2. This is the advanced course focusing on virtual production. My name is Scott Rosecrans. I'd like to thank you for joining me and I'd like to take a minute to introduce myself and introduce the course and talk about all the fun stuff we're going to be doing over the next eight weeks. I've been in the visual effects industry for 15 years, uh, mostly as a CG supervisor and mostly at Zoic Studios. Uh, however, for the past two or so years, I've been working as a real-time CG supervisor, which means I've worked exclusively in the Unreal Engine. Um, and I've been, you know, working with a great and talented team of people to push the engine into every facet of our pipeline here at Zoic. Uh, and it's been a, a great and wonderful experience, and I've learned a lot. I've also had the luxury of uh, being um, set for a virtual production shoot for a few months. We did a lot of different and entertaining and insightful commercials and shoots and tests and all kinds of things at a uh, virtual production LED wall. I look forward to sharing a lot of that information and a lot of that experience with you. And um, yeah, let's talk about the class for a little bit. So I will serve as your primary instructor, uh, but alongside there will be Ed Dawson Taylor and Jackie Cooper, who most of you might know at this point. Um, and uh, there will also be a bunch of guest speakers and uh, they will um, come in you know, on random weeks and give us uh, insight into their perspective of the, the virtual production uh, workflow as well. Um, so the first couple of weeks, we're going to be honing your skills that you learned in the first session um, or you know, wherever you got your skills. Uh, we're going to be crafting a scene for you to use for virtual production, whether that to you means a green screen shoot, a LED wall shoot, or something completely different, uh, who knows? Um, that's totally up to you, but we're going to help guide you through um, crafting your scene, tailoring it specifically with that type of shoot in mind. And so we're going to touch on a lot of the things, the lighting and you know, scene setup, level design, UGS, all these good things that are, are work, you know, in a normal production environment you're going to encounter in any given day. Uh, and so then that'll take us into the next three to four weeks, which is going to be the bulk of the work, which is, you know, we're going to start doing some green screen work. We'll talk about all the different inputs and uh, all the different ways to handle the footage, whether that's going to be through composure or um, and materials and blueprints to set up a keyer and integrate your footage that way. Um, all the different ways to treat and handle uh, green screen footage and green screen workflows. Um, and then we'll, of course, touch on the LED wall. We'll talk about hardware, software, tracking systems, all the different things that need to go into creating a bulletproof scene leading up to your shoot, how you're going to work through the day of the shoot and, and all the different tricks and things that you'll need to kind of have in your tool bag to get through a shoot successfully. Uh, and then what you're gonna do with the footage after the shoot, because that's one of the things that like nobody really talks about, right? It's just now that you've got the footage and you, you know, what what now? We'll talk about animation, animation blueprints, control rig, meta human, state machines, anything that uh, that moves, I think it, it, it helps to um, take that next step and kind of push your scene a little bit further. Cause now, you know, now that we've crafted getting footage and environments and things in the engine, we want to uh, breathe a little bit more life into our scenes and have secondary characters and secondary animation and things going on in there. Thank you for being here. I'm looking forward to the next eight weeks and seeing what we can create together. Um, you can always contact me before, during, or after the course, of course. Uh, the contact information should be somewhere here on this page. Um, and I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to this again. Cheers.